Lewis here, who is a uh, producer and HR, HR consultant. So um, welcome, Georgianne. Well, thank you so much. Um, so tell me, what was your first job and how old were you? Well, I was 16 and it took me the full summer to find the job. It was a time in the 60s when employment wasn't um, bountiful. So it was at Friendly's, um, you know, chain restaurant. And uh, I started, I think, in August. So um, would you mind telling how did you get that job? Actually, I went through an interview process. I had applied to many jobs. I was very happy to finally land a job. Okay. So were there any transportation issues? There were because I lived here in Wallingford, and it was on the west side of Meriden, so I had to make sure I always had a car available. It was kind of like a little commute. It probably took me about half an hour door-to-door -door because of yeah. just traffic and yeah. All right, so um, was it what you expected at all? I'm not sure I had um, any realistic expectations. I was just so eager to be hired, yeah. and I was surprised that it didn't really have much of a schedule. Um, I'd be scheduled to go home at a certain time. They'd say, oh, well, give your boyfriend a free cup of coffee because we want you to work for another hour. And it just was oh. very kind of chaotic to me, and yeah. I'm more of a structured person, although I didn't know that about myself at the time. So I was disappointed. I thought it was kind of crazy. Yeah, <laughs> sounded pretty crazy. But um, what was your most memorable, memorable experience at Friendly's? Well, I did find out it wasn't really my line of work. So one time I made a banana split and forgot the banana. Ooh. So that's kind of a tip that this isn't, you know, my most natural suit. Uh, um, and generally I had some good experiences, but it just didn't fit my personality or my skills, really. Um, what did you want to be growing up as a child? I think my earliest memory was wanting to be an author, and I did get to be an author many, 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 many years later. So that's cool. All right. um, did your first job influence your future work experience? Actually, it did because I found out what I wasn't good at. So I think that's as valuable as anything else. I mean, at the time, working in a restaurant was something high school kids did, um, and I didn't really have anybody to ask, well, what did that mean? And so then later I was able to find work, even as a fairly unskilled person, like I worked for the circuit court in their administrative area, and it just suited my strengths better. And so it's, you know, trial and error. Yeah. Were there any lessons that you learned from your job? Well, I did learn it's very important to be friendly when you're at Friendly's, um, or those <laughs> types of jobs. And that, again, I tend to be more kind of on the um, thinking side of things, so I'm, sometimes I'm thinking and I'm not interacting with people yep. as friendly as I needed to be. So again, it kind of <laughs> taught me customer service probably wasn't my strong suit. Okay. Um, would you describe your first job in one word? What would in be? one word? It was an experience. It was just getting my feet wet. Yeah. Experience. Okay. Um, so if you could do it over, would you do the first job again? I absolutely would because I really think it's important to just get started because you find out as much from what doesn't work as what does work. Okay. So do you have any success tips for our viewers? Actually, I've been, spent a lot of time in human resources and have hired quite a few people and developed programs and so forth. And I, I would say in relation to this first job topic, um, just to be open to new experiences and try different things and take feedback and um, learn about yourself so that you can finally arrive at a place that utilizes your strengths. Okay. Do what you like to do, and you tend to be good at that. And that's kind of a trial and error for most people. So that's why doing work like you're doing, where you get internships or experiences, are invaluable. Okay. So you're a producer, and you work here at WPA. Yes. So um, how do you like it so far? You I, I love it. I've been producing Midlife Matters for a year and a half. Okay. And uh, the staff here has been terrific in helping me. And I structure interviews with women to talk about their lives and some of the things we've talked about today, how they got started, different things they've done, and then also get very involved in the editing process. So that's a whole new skill set opportunity for me. So that's, it's just been terrific. Thank you. Well, uh, there we have it, folks. Georgian Lucier, uh, producer and HR consultant. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much.